اعوذبلشیطانجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ فرام الدرس الخام شرا ففٹین لیسن الواحدت الثانی سیکنڈ یونٹ العسرا دی فیملی فہم المسمو انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف وٹ یو ہیئر التدریب الاول فسٹ ایکسرسائز اس تم لسن سما دا علامت صحیح فل مربع المناسب دین پٹ دا چیک مارک ان دا اپروپریٹ باکس سو یو ول گو ٹو گوگل کلاس روم یو ول پلے دا ویڈیو اینڈ دین یو ول چوز دا رائٹ ورڈ لیٹ سپوز ہی سی دا ورڈ یو سلی دین یو ول پٹ چیک مارک ہیئر If you say the word um, then you will put the check mark here. So now I will show you how to play video. So first of all, you will open your Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, you will go to the class Al-Arbiya Tubayna Yadik. If you don't know how to join the Google Classroom, you can contact me on my WhatsApp. I will guide you. then you will go to homework number 4 now we are on homework number 4 whatever is written here ignore it click on view assignment so whatever is written here you can ignore it whatever pictures are men here you can ignore these pictures so you need to play this video the first video now listen it carefully and then you will choose the answer according to it الوحدة الثانية الأسرة الدرس الخامس عشر ثانيا فهم المسموع التدريب الأول استمع ثم ضع علامة صحيح في المربع المناسب واحد يصلي اثنان ابنة Um. So in the third one, in the second one, he said Ibna, so you'll put a check mark on Ibna. Then in the third one, he said the word Um. Um means mother, so you'll put a check mark on this lady. If you feel that your speed is too fast, then you can click on settings. You can click on playback and then you can... Uh, decrease the speed by clicking here so the speed will automatically adjust now it will be slow Arba. Jad. so you see no speed is slow Khamsa. Musalla. so in this way you will listen it and then you will choose the right answer then at the dribu sani is the misum madala matasahi hafil murabbal munasib again he's asking you to listen then put the check mark so again you will go to google classroom then you will play this audio this video and you will choose the right answer التدريب الثاني استمع ثم ضع علامة صحيح في المربع المناسب واحد هذه شجرة اثنان هذا جدي عمر So in this way you will listen it and you will choose the correct answers Then Natribu Salis again he is asking you to listen and then choose the answer You will also find this audio This is the third video that you see here Then We have another one but Unfortunately the video for this one is not available So you can skip this question for the time being نیکسٹ تبادل سوال اول جواب اما زمیلک سو یو سی اے پکچر ہیئر اینڈ تھری ورڈز آر گیون فسٹ ورڈ از احمد سیکنڈ ورڈ از المسجد اینڈ دا تھرڈ ورڈ از یو سلی سو دا فسٹ اسٹوڈنٹ ول آسک اکارڈنگ ٹو دس آئین احمد ویئر از احمد سیکنڈ اسٹوڈنٹ ول رپلائی احمد فل مسجد یو سلی احمد از ان دا مسجد ہی اسپرنگ So you need to ask the question for each person that you see in the picture. So in this picture we see Fatima. So you will ask without looking at the example. So that's why I am adding the example. So you will say Aina Fatima. 
then the second person will say fatima fil musalla to salli fatima is in the musalla she is praying then you will ask aina badr where is badr then the second person will answer without looking at the example badr fil baiti yatawaddau badr is at home he is making wudu so in this way you will practice this question without looking at example same thing is asking you to exchange the dialogue with your colleague like in the example al misal the example at talibu awwal assalamu alaikum peace be upon you at talibu sani wa alaikum assalam and peace be upon you too at talibu awwal ma hazihi what is this at talibu sani hazihi suratu akhi this is the picture of my brother who wa muhandis he is an engineer mashallah what a lovely basically we use mashallah to protect someone from evil eye so the teacher has given this picture at this and these two words then the student made this dialogue without looking at the example so now you will do this without looking at the example so first hide it and remember first thing that you will do is greet first thing that you will do here is greet so greet to greet we say assalamu alaikum and the second person replies wa alaikum assalam then you will ask what is this the word sura is feminine that's why we are using hazihi ma hazihi what is this <coughs> then the second person will answer according to the picture hazihi suratu akhi this is the picture of my brother who wa muhandis is engineer so in this way first you will greet each other assalamu alaikum second person will reply wa alaikum assalam then you will ask ma hazihi what is this first person will say hazihi suratu ukhti this is the picture of my sister hi ya tabiba she is a doctor ah ma sha allah no no time one thing i hope you remember that akh mean brother and akhi mean my brother ukht mean sister ukhti my sister so you see i we the letter ya mean my in these sentences you will say this is the picture of my sister my father so you need to use the pronoun ya with each of them assalamu alaikum second person will say wa alaikum assalam you will ask ma hazihi what is this second person will say hazihi suratu walidi this is the picture of my father who wa muallim he is a teacher ma sha allah in this way you will do this without looking at the example so this need practice hati jumalan kama fil misal bring sentences like the one in the example al misal the example has a walidi ali this is my father ali so you see in the picture he has given you three words walid bin father walidi my father so in the sentence you need to add ya has a walidi ali who wa muhandis this is my father ali he is an engineer now you will say without looking at the example hazihi walidati khatija so you need to add ya it will become walidati this is my mother khatija hi ya tabiba then you will say haza akhi this is my brother said who wa muallim he is a teacher then you will say hazihi ukhti saida he ya muallima this is my sister saida she is a teacher in this way you will make these sentences without looking at the example again he is asking you to exchange the question and answer with your colleague so man is used for human beings and ma is used for animals and non living things remember this thing 
द वर्ड मन इज़ यूज फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड द वर्ड मा इज़ यूज फॉर एनिमल्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स मन हाजा हु इज़ दिस हाजा अहमद दिस इज़ अहमद मन हाजी ही हु इज़ दिस हाजी ही जैनब दिस इज़ जैनब मा हाजा वट इज़ दिस हाजा मस्जिद दिस इज़ मस्जिद मा हाजी ही वट इज़ दिस हाजी ही सूरा दिस इज़ अ पिक्चर सो now you will ask without looking at the example who is this man has he second person will say this is laila has he laila then you will say what is this ma has he second person will say has he shajara this is a tree man has a who is this has a umar this is umar ma has he what is this the word family it is a word and word is a non living thing so we say ma has he what is this has he usra this is a family in this way you will practice this now you will introduce your family members has a jandi amar this is my grandfather amar wa has he jaddati amina and this is my grandmother amina second person will welcome by saying ahlan wa sahlan welcome then you will say haza walidi ahmad this is my father ahmad wa hazihi walidati zainab and this is my mother zainab second person will say ahlan wa sahlan then you will say haza ibni ali this is my son ali wah has he ibnati abla and this is my daughter ibn abla then the second person will say ahlan wa sahlan so again you will do this without looking at the example then he is asking you to answer these questions so you the answer of these questions are already written here these questions are for you so you will answer them according to yourself so ka is for male if you are female you better put a kasra here to make this question feminine man like if you are a female student you will put kasra then it will become man wali do ki man jan do ki man am ki for male student no need to change just answer it directly then the last question man sadiqu ka who is your friend so male student can again answer it directly in case of female they will, when they will put kasra here man sadiqu ki who is your friend so you can write the name of your husband here because the word sadiq is male but if you want to write about uh, female then you will say man sadiqatu ki you need to add ta here because sadiq is male and sadiqa is female so sadiqatu ki your female friend alkira reading he is asking you to read so you just you will just write their meanings here as your homework then he is asking you to join this is a useless question you can skip it skip this question as well now skip this as well again he is asking you to look and listen and read so haza ammuhu ahmad huwa muhandis this is his uncle ahmad he is an engineer Usman fil masjid yaqra al Quran Usman is in the masjid he is reading the Quran Haza azan al fajr This is the azan of fajr Hayya bina ila al masjid let's go to the masjid Fatima fil ghurfa tusalli Fatima is in the room she is praying Mahmud fil bayti yatawadda Mahmud is at home he is making wudu Haza akhi Ammar who a muallim this is my brother Ammar he is a teacher so you can skip this sixth question is not needed here this chapter is for writing practice if you want to do in this question you will just pick up your pen and then you will pass your pen 
on these letters like this for writing practice okay so i am doing on touch screen it is not very accurate what you can do but let me tell you one important thing when you will write them this thing is optional for you but if you write them then remember these letters will touch the line but they will not go below the line the dot will be below the line remember these letters will touch the line but they will not go below the line okay so you need to practice like this so again you will just pass your pen on these words and then you will write these words in all of them tabib talib anta they will touch the line but they will not go below the line remember this thing so when you practice writing make sure they touch the line but they don't go below the line and you can't write them above the line like this this is also wrong because it is not touching the line except the wow the mouth of wow will be above the line and the rest part will be below the line so all other letters in these words will touch the line but they will not go below the line and they must touch the line again you will just pass your pens on these for writing practice then you can skip this you can skip this you can skip this also again here you will move you will pass your pen on these then you write these so these three letters will touch the line but they will not go below the line and they must touch the line okay and they must not go below the line again you write them all of them will touch the line but they will not go below the line except that letter ra so ra will be like this zo so you see za and fa will touch the line and ra part of it will be below the line again you will just pass your pen on these then you can skip this question you can skip this question and then you will write these letters here so this ta za alif hamza ba ta sa da za these will touch the line but they will not go below the line but the letter ra will be half of it above the line and half of it below the line wow also the mouth of wa will be above the line and rest part will be below the line so here this you know this completed so you will go to this page let me show you 227 i think this is not 27 this is 257 i think yes so you have already learned these words so if you forget then memorize them then write these words on a piece of paper or on your notebook and then write their meanings without looking at anything first memorize their meaning and then write their meanings this is your homework also then you will go back so here we have a question paper also so let me tell you how you will do it he is asking you to put the following words in their appropriate place in the table so words are written here balad mean country the names of country which are mentioned here you will write them in this box the mean mean pronoun all those pronouns like anti he ya all these pronouns will be you will write them in this box then rakam mean number so all the numbers like khamsa like tisa will be written here usra mean family so family words like 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 walid ukht and such words will be written here makan mean place like musalla masjid 
such words will be written here mehna profession so profession like mudar is the biba will be written here akmilin jumla bil kalimat taliya complete the sentences with the following words so ahmadu fi fil ghurfa ahmadu fil ghurfa hazihi walidati hiya 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 tabiba hazihi walidati hiya tabiba haza azanu no no sorry haza usratu yes haza but no usra is feminine word we can we can't use it with the word haza so jaddi is the best word haza jaddi umar this is my grandfather umar adil yakra ul quran in this way you will fill these blanks then you will put x mark on the different word so here akh sadiq ibn these represent the human but the nazara is a different thing so you put x mark on nazara hamam ghurfa shajara masjid hamam ghurfa and masjid represent the makan but shajara is a different thing so you put x mark on shajara here there is a grammatical mistake in the underlined word so let's see what is the mistake here huwa you know is for masculine but hazihi and nazara is feminine so you need to replace it with the word hiya then hayya bina fil masjid we are going to the masjid so the word for to is ila so you write ila instead of fi then saida is female so you write tabibatun not tabibun in this way you will correct the mistake then you will join the question with, then you will just make the questions here man haza hal an hal hazi shajara aina anta ya adnan so in this way you will just write them and join them now uh, you can also say min aina anta you can just do it correct it yourself ikhtar al kalimat as sahiha choose the correct word so two words are mentioned here you will choose the right word here like sura is feminine so you will say hazihi surat usrati then hazihi also represent feminine so you better use shajara hal hazihi shajara then who is masculine so you will say who i yakrau in this way you will do this question next we have al wahdatu as salisa we will start in next time if you have any question any doubt any problem feel free to ask me and remember you need to submit this homework in homework number 4 whatever is written here you can ignore it just watch these videos because these will help you in doing these three questions and then you will upload your homework here i hope you enjoyed the lesson see you next time ma salama